Well, good morning. This is me up in Ecclefecken. <clears throat> this is our hotel where we're staying today. Ecclefecken, Southern Scotland. I don't know what county. I'm apologies for that. This is the view from my hotel room. It's very good. You'll have to excuse a mess. I'm actually just packing up. That's all you want. Single bed, TV on the wall, ensuite bathroom, me with my underpants on. So, um, as you can see out the window, it is pouring down. So it's going to be a bit of a wet one today. Um, yeah, we're traveling from here up to um, Onik, on each, on it, on inch. It's uh, just south of Fort William. So, um, hopefully, 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 we won't get too wet. All right, catch up in a minute on the bike. Well, good morning to one and all. So me and Tim, the Pathfinder, <laughs> he's waving up there. We've just left the Crestfield Country Hotel, which I have to say was really, really nice. We were both very pleased. Uh, great evening meal, really comfy bed. Yeah, room was a little bit small, but, um, but great for one person. Absolutely great. So he's well chuffed with that. We, we've passed a few signs now. It says uh, heavy rain. Drive carefully. It's kind of spitting with rain at the moment. But uh, it looks quite ominous in the front. Those big clouds over the mountains a few miles ahead. Oh well, we shall see, eh? We're on the uh, M74 now, heading towards Glasgow. Yeah, I'm okay, mate. Yeah, you go, yeah. So we're just passing Hamilton services on the M74. The weather hasn't been as bad as we thought, to be honest, but uh, it's just been motorway all the way up here. Got Tim here looking good on the front door again. <laughs> We're stuck uh, in the 40 miles an hour zone at the moment. So this is going past Glasgow here on the M8, heading towards the Erskine Bridge. So here we are on the Erskine Bridge. This is like the gateway to the highlands almost. Going over the River Clyde. And shortly we'll be going alongside uh, Loch Lomond on the A82, which is a bit of a windy, a bit of a dangerous road really, to be honest. But uh, all very nice. But before that we're going to stop for a cup of tea, aren't we Jim? Yeah, we like that. actually we come out into a clear bit of traffic or a clear road I mean ah very nice 
nice. Uh, I don't think I'll need the hairdryer, mate. is full of look at that views and trying to get your gears right for the corner. <laughs> if you come up here boys and girls on the motorbike you have to stop at the Green Wally. I don't know why but you do. On the right there mate, don't it? Oh god, I'm not going on that gravel mate. I'm not going on that gravel, I'm going to cut across. I'll put it straight. That was a nice little break at the, the Green Welly. Nice cup of tea provided by Tim. So now we're on our way up to, uh, well, general direction of Fort William, Glencoe. Okay, so we've only got uh, 37 miles to go to our destination. So we're actually now in the proper highlands. We've seen loads of bikes now. Just look at that, eh? Look at that. I don't think you can ever get fed up with coming up here. So this is Jimmy Savile's bungalow in Glencoe. A fair bit of rubbish here as well. Oh my god. Good god. Okay, let's switch over to the uh, phone. Well, I'll tell you what, I didn't have to try too hard to get in here. No glass left in the windows. I take it this must have been a living room. What a view to have. Oh god, broken glass everywhere. I'm not going in there, it's too creepy. What an absolute waste of a house. Perfectly good. They should have sold this. Somebody could have knocked it down. Could have knocked it down and built something else. Have a look out here. Oh. Wow.
Yeah. Quite infamous, really. God, rubbish everywhere here. So, Prince Charles has been here. There you go, just go. Ah, so that was a bit creepy inside of uh, Savile's house, I must admit. I'm now in a hotel in Onich. Onik? Onich? Onion? I don't know what it is. Um, so this is my hotel room. We got a chalet and we have this all week. So this is where we are. This is my room here. And there's some very steep stairs there. And this is Phil's room at the back with no view. And then Phil, uh, sorry. Tim is downstairs in a, a double bedroom next to the bathroom. I just want to show you, look at the view. If you just look at that. So anyway, the weather, as you can see, is brightened up. Not too shabby at all. I'm too frightened to open the window because of mosquitoes or midges. Anyway, we're having a good time. We'll catch up soon.